Hi, it's Maggie. Um, I wanted to talk about transiting Neptune conjunct uh, natal Venus because that's what's going on in my chart and also kind of combine it with the chart of the day which I'm looking at. So everything's in Aquarius. We've got Saturn, three degrees Aquarius. It's conjuncting Jupiter, six degrees Aquarius. And then we've got Mercury, 10 degrees Aquarius, and the Moon, 16 degrees Aquarius. So there's four planets in fixed Aquarius. So we're getting a lot of different social opinions, and a lot of, a lot of humanitarian groups are forming to like feed the homeless and um, you know, do things like that. That's, that's a great thing to be involved in at this time, to feed the hungry. Uh, but, so, I thought I would just be totally wrapped up in astrology, but I'm, I'm kind of not. I did, I was going to do this thing in the UK, it was a Zoom link, so I had the right day, but the wrong time. I didn't do the US time correctly, so by the time I clicked on it was over, but I had the intention, so I missed a really great, great uh, three-hour conference, free conference. So that's uh, kind of based on that. So I, I am <clears throat> dabbling here and there, but I'm not working as hard under the lash of Capricorn like I was. So in a way, it's a relief. And, you know, <clears throat> for me, everything's in my 11th house of Aquarius anyway. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot of stuff going on. And um, I will get deeper into it, but I'm... I like to try a lot of new and different interesting things. Tying that in to the Venus, Venus, natal Venus at 22 degrees um, Pisces in the 12th house is what I have. It's exalted, so it's conjunct um, transiting Neptune. And so I just want to fool around with art, basically. You know, I think about painting, but I'm not painting. So, you know, Neptune is very, very dreamy and imaginative and creative and inspirational. And, um, yeah, <clears throat> I did, uh, uh, I showed interest in this. People living in the riverbed here where I live. So, um, that is definitely uh, a social concern, you know, take, try to, to help with a social concern, you know, homelessness, of course, um, and feed, feeding the hungry, um, clothing the hungry, clothing um, people, and I tried to think of what would I want <clears throat> if I were living in the riverbed, or I saw so, so many homeless living in San Francisco that, you know, what would I want if I were living in the streets? So. You know, that compelled me to just go through everything, you know, and especially during winter, you know. They need sleeping bags, coats, and a lot of people are against that, you know, and they don't like the litter and the trash, but... So it's a social problem that needs to be solved, and, and will be solved, but I think, meanwhile, as humanitarian, we can... I can do my own part, you know, in my own little way, whatever that may be. That's that's one of the ways, um, socially, um, and connecting with different people. You know, it's not all about astrology, though. I think I think probably I'm taking kind of a break. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just not as driven on my YouTube channel, and. So I'm just kind of rambling on. We do, I, I will go over this chart very, very briefly. Then I want to talk more about the, uh, the Neptune-Venus conjunction that I have going on. Well, I'll talk about that now. <laughs> Basically, I'm just doing karaoke. Yeah, you know, I just want to sing. It's, you know, and that's very, very Venus conjunct Neptune 12th house. You know, it's all about singing, inspiration, painting, dreaming, musical, poetic, rap, whatever. Um, and it's also compassion and empathy and 
it can, it can also be laziness. Um, and a lot of people are, are lost in a dream. But yeah, it's really, really bringing out my Venus. Um, love of, well, my parents love to sing for one thing. And I, I don't have a strong voice, you know, like I used to, and I can't carry it to like I used to, but it's just fun. And, and you know, during lockdown and during the, my whole state, California is in lockdown and yeah, it's just kind of the lockdown blues. You've got to do something to entertain yourself other than just put up astrology videos. But, you know, that, that can be a lot of work. So, yeah. So I've been um, singing karaoke <laughs> on an app. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun doing duets with people and just, you know, playing out my Venus. Also, Venus rules Taurus, and currently we have um, Uranus and Taurus, which is, you know, doing something new and different. Um, and for me, I, I would never dream that I would be doing that. You know, I would be <clears throat> probably too shy, or even to be doing this. You know, I probably, you know, just how this happened totally was Uranus. When Uranus was an Aries, that's when, when I really, really started doing my channel. <clears throat> I need some water. So I just wanted to check in. This is my hatchet job <laughs> with my hair. I cut it myself. Uh, I watched a YouTube video on how to cut hair, and this is what I ended up with. But, so anyway, Mars is three degrees Taurus. And Uranus is six degrees Taurus, so they're in a conjunction, and they are squaring off with, with um, they are squaring off with Aquarius, with Saturn and Jupiter and Aquarius. So that might may be part of part. Well, it's definitely causing rebellion and conflict. And, you know, on, on a huge social scale, you know, I don't want to talk about politics, but we're definitely seeing that, uh, you know, war groups and, um, but tying that into Venus ruled Taurus is Mars, you know, it's the ruler of Aries and, and Scorpio. So it, Mars is ambition, drive, vitality, um, you know, it's not, it's not just the god of war. I mean, you need Mars to get going. So Mars in, in uh, <clears throat> Mars currently in Taurus, Venus ruled Taurus. And Uranus wants to do something different. Wants to um, just totally change it up. Should totally change up the way you make money, maybe the way you artistically create. Um, just get very bored doing the same thing, and you're going to have to change it up anyway, you know, with the, with the state of the world today. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking that the, the Venus Neptune, <clears throat> I just kind of feel like coasting. <laughs> kind of feel like coasting. There is going to be some astrology. Uh, there's going to be a great Zoom convention, Norwalk, coming up in May. I think it's on Memorial Day in May, and that's just a marathon. I think it's a five-day event. Yeah, so, um, but I still I still do the monthlies. And if something's going on, the eclipses, and um, I get requests here and there to do a chart, but I kind of lost interest. Unless it unless it totally interests me, I've kind of lost interest in just doing. Um, I wasn't interested in one 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 chart, but I didn't. I don't know if it's a rumor or if they're together. I just I just heard it on the news. It's kind of it was Harry Styles dating um, <clears throat> dating. No, I can't think of her name, but I did look up her chart and I was going to do a sinistry, but I don't know. <clears throat> it's saying they spent the night together, but so what? They worked together. They probably were just partying or talking or you know. So I didn't do it, but if it's legit then I definitely want to do it because I love Harry Styles as everyone else does. And he is making a film with, with this, uh, this star. I think she's a producer. 
So um, <clears throat> we have a lot of fixed energy. We have we have um, eight 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 air signs going on. Eight things in air. <clears throat> the north nodes in air. Four four planets in air. A lot of air. A lot of air. Venus is in Capricorn. So Venus, Venus in Capricorn is happy birthday, Capricorns. Yeah, it's great. The suns of Capricorn, Sun, Pluto, and Venus are all in Capricorn. So the Sun and Pluto are conjunct in Capricorn. So everything is coming to a head. Uh, in our country, we have the impeachment going on. Um, yeah. I, Yeah, just a lot, of, a lot of transformation in every possible way that I've talked about all, all year. <laughs> it's probably since 2008. Um, so now we're going into another, another whole era. But you know, it takes time. It's not just going to happen overnight. <clears throat> it takes time. So I think about mid, probably around Valentine's Day, it'll really, really uh, kick in Aquarian season. Yeah, um, so Mars is in, in Venus rule. Venus rule Taurus is giving ambition to and to try something new. Uranus is something new, different, radical. It's also rebellion, um, and it's in a fixed Earth rule sign, so it's very, very stubborn, radical rebellion. We saw the revolt, you know, at, at, the, at the the White House. That was awful. Um, people were shocked, and Uranus is shocking. Um, so that that's the square. That is the square, squaring off with groups of people, getting groups of people to. And Neptune is sorry, I'm not finishing sentences. <laughs> Neptune is transiting Venus, so yeah, people have been buying into all this. Conspiracy. Neptune's 18 degrees Pisces transiting. So people have been buying into all these conspiracy theories for so long. It's hard for them to different, differentiate the truth from the false. I mean, people are really, really deluded. A lot of them. <laughs> A lot of them. Everyone thinks their way is the right way. Yeah you know, my way or the highway. And that's fixed Aquarius. But fixed Aquarius and fixed Taurus, they don't budge. They are so stubborn and opinionated. You argue, you don't argue with an Aquarian. <clears throat> I mean, you can try, but it, they're ruled by Saturn and they can be very, very opinionated. And especially now with the moon and Mercury there, they all, <laughs> And, and then Jupiter expanding their opinions and their groups and their that's that that square just fomented violence in this case in this case um, in our in, in our country in the U.S. that that's that's one way that manifested. So I, I just explained how I think it's manifesting in my life that you know I'm just I'm just doing karaoke. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's it's not all about making money for me. You know, I don't have a really strong. I don't have anything actually in the earth houses or the second house, but it is my natural Taurus house. So, um, South Node remains. In, that's the dragon's tail. Remains in Sagittarius. So travel is still restricted. I mean, I, I definitely don't want to fly anywhere or travel anywhere. Of course, we are on lockdown. <clears throat> I do have some timeshares. I was going to go on vacation there on lockdown. You can't even, you can't go anywhere and Sagittarius is all about travel. So that's restricted. Um, Venus and Capricorn though, that's a great time to get a promotion, ask for a raise, you know, if, if you if you have a job, if you still have a job, or to promote yourself, people would like you, Capricorns, you know, look good, uh, they're lucky, 
lucky Venus there, and it's Pluto. Venus will help you to transform your life in some way. I used to always seem to get a job or or something around Christmas time, and so what it was was Capricorn. It was it was in the mid heaven, in, in the tenth house, mid heaven, Capricorn's house. So um, yeah, what else is I mainly wanted to talk about Neptune, and pretty much everything's up there in Aquarius, and Capricorn, and then Venus, Venus. So that, that about covers the chart of the day. The North Node is in Gemini. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's, a, it's something else, yeah. And it's opposed to the South Node. So it's all about travel restrictions, impeachment, um, and just a lot, a lot of talk, a lot of talk, and a lot of, a lot of uh, the whole thing with shutting down Twitter, locking down. I don't, I don't want to even talk about politics, but uh, so the chart of the day has Gemini rising, Aquarius moon, and Capricorn sun. And um, but if anyone wants to comment on on their how their if they have. Venus conjunct um, Neptune, either natally or I have it natally, and then it's Neptune transiting Neptune's hitting it. So when it's exact, that's when it manifests. Manifests or shortly after, and Neptune is a very very long term transit. So there are many different ways to to use it. Um, yeah, vaccines are coming out. I can't wait to get my vaccine. I think it'll really free me up to you know, to do a lot more things, a lot more things. And yeah, I probably have the lockdown blues like everyone else. Um, there's only one planet in fire. Oh my God, maybe that's what the problem is. Although Aquarius is sextile to Aries, but the only thing in fire is Ch Chiron. Chiron. Mars just left Aries, so it's 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 our ruling planet, and it's kind of it's pretty powerful when it's in Aries. So it's kind of like it's a, it's only three degrees Taurus. So now it's uh, stirring up the money, the money sector and material sector. So. Just get ready for a rain, the rainy days here, and uh, money's going to be very, very volatile. I'm really praying to God that we don't have tent cities all over our country, but um, things don't look good. But there's there's humanitarian and social and um, broad-minded Aquarians to the rescue, you know, to help, to help. Uh, innovate with their innovative creative ideas to to bring some good back into the world you know to bring some good i think there's going to be a lot of guides anyone born under this is oh my god they're going to be such a special baby such a beautiful special baby um, and a beautiful person good souls <laughs> good souls to be born under that um Jupiter Saturn conjunction, that's like the Bethlehem star, you know? And, and to be born today even with with you know four planets in Aquarius, that's a very magnetic personality. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you do please like, subscribe, and share. Everyone please take care and be safe.